So I want to export this transparent video here as an WebM format from Premiere Pro. However, the WebM is not natively supported by Premiere Pro if you have looked through this list here. So we will need to download it from an external source. And I found this website here and I've seen a lot of people recommending it. So I thought I would try it. So we will download it for Windows here. And you can see that Chrome is trying to block it because it's not a secure source. However, I trust it and I will go ahead and download it anyways. And now I will locate it on my computer and I will go ahead and install it. If you're a bit skeptical, I can go ahead and do a virus scan here. Scan with Microsoft Defender. And then according to this one, it says it's no current threats. And since I only want to export this part, I'm going to set it to the beginning here and I'm going to move the video away from it and zoom into the timeline here at an out point like that. I will make it smaller like so. And then if you need to, you can also set an in point by pressing I, then O for out point. Now go to the export tab here. And now I will give it a file name and then click on this blue link to set the export location. And let's check on our format if we can find it. And yes, there it is, WebM format. So let's hope it works. Now go ahead and click on the video tab here and I will match the source as usually. The codec you can set to VP9 for the highest quality. However, if the VP9 does not work, you can try the VP8 as well. And for the quality here, I will set mine to constant bitrate, which is what I usually use. Then you can see here down in the right corner how the file size changes depending on the bitrate. So since it's a WebM file, we want it to be quite small since we're using it for the web and then two pass encoding is nice and i want to include the alpha channel to export with transparent background and also use the maximum render quality here the bit depth i will set to 12 the highest one and then i will go ahead and export it will take some time to export to the web m format since it's so highly compressed so it's a lot of work for your computer and once it's done you can see we have a dot web m file here and we can try to play it and you can see it works and also i noticed that i have this white border around it i'm not sure why that is but it looks pretty good. You can also see at the quality that I will have to increase the bitrate a little bit. So just play around with the settings yourself and you will figure something out. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful and thanks for watching.